Okay, so if I was to splatter some colour on that, what colour would I splatter? <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome to week 21 of the Marguerite Miller Weekly Planner Collage Challenge. If you want to join in, it's an open collaboration and all of the uh, information you need is in my video's description area, which is at the bottom. Click on the show more and that will come up with a link to Marguerite's channel. So the prompts this week are zoo animal. So I have a giraffe. <laughs> I mean, I have a zebra. So part of a food or drink label. So we had this little brown jug type of thing sitting out the back in the garden. I fished that out and soaked it and got the labels off it. So that's that for me. Handwriting, I'd scroll something when I'm finished. Uh, stickers, got a couple of stickers here. Tiny little ones, probably can't see them. So I've got Sunday and May. I've got an eye, as in something, an eye that you look through some numbers and a cute little butterfly sticker something you find in a doctor's office skeleton i've got a bit of background paper so this is uh, a jelly plate print usual things glue ink bit of white paint and a stencil and i've got an idea what i'm going to do first thing i needed to do is glue down this though so i'm going to get that down first so do I need to trim it before I stick? Probably should trim it off a bit. So if you haven't tried jelly plate printing and you've got a gel plate, give it a whirl. It's so much fun. I love doing it. The only problem is you end up with piles and piles of prints that you don't know what to do with. So I've been using them lately. So in our doodle challenge for May, I actually did like the theme was geometric so I tore from uh, one of my jelly prints roughly shaped squares triangles rectangles and then I collaged them onto a piece of paper and doodle over the top of them and that was my doodle for May that turned out really good and looked like a mosaic so if you want to have a look at that video the links up here right now see where the eye is click on that and you'll be able to watch it Okay, I'm going to glue this down. I changed my mind. I decided to tear along the edge of this and I'm going to ink it too before I put it down. And this is rice paper, but it is um, unbleached. So it seems a bit tougher than the other rice paper that I've been using. Anyway, I'm going to get on with that. Shut up for five minutes and stick it down and come back to Okay, so if in case you're wondering what I'm doing with this, this is um, just a piece of baking paper where I've been wiping my roller off. I'm intending on putting this on here. I'm going to rip it open. I'm going to have my giraffe <laughs> slash zebra in there because it's a zoo animal. The skeleton, I'm not sure where I'll put that. I'm just going to do some figuring out. I've got my label my food label and my sticker uh, my food label and my stickers got to work out where to put them on so I'm just going to have a little bit of a think get a composition in my head and then I'll come back and I'll show you what I'm going to do or what I think I'm going to do and then um, probably change my mind about three or four times and you can come along for the ride I'm guessing it's just one of those days because I really can't get a feel for this at all. I had an idea in my head when I first started off, but now I don't like it. And I think it's my animal. I wanted to use this because it was a bit arty and um, it was something that I created accidentally trying to do something else. So I need to find myself a different animal, I think. Something a little bit more inspiring or something easier to work into a collage so I'm gonna go and dig out my animal book I'm still not sure 
um, what I'm gonna do. So I thought I'd just do something on here with that white paint and stencils. My zoo animal is this elephant and this is what I was thinking. So I've still got my skeleton as my thing found in a doctor's office. I um, got a new label. It's actually off some brand of alcohol that was advertised in a magazine, the supermarket magazine called Dead Man's Fingers. So I thought I would put that there, stick a number in front of that and draw some bars so that the animal is going to be looking at the human. So the human is in the zoo, the animal's not and try and build something from there. That's where I'm going with it anyway. But need a bit of white on here, I think, for my, my Mr. Elephant to stand out a bit better. So I'm going to use this white paint and do a little bit of stenciling, a little bit of smearing around, I think. Hopefully, oh yeah, it's okay. This stencil's a bit funny. Well, it was on the desk and I was using the heat gun. And I accidentally heated it. But it wasn't the one that came off worse. Another one, <laughs> I actually melted it and it curled up. So that was going well. And the one that I melted was one that I made myself. Because I've just bought a Cricut machine. I thought I'd have a go at making some stencils. And uh, yeah, so I made one of, um, uh, it was a illustration of donuts and I made it into a stencil. I made different size ones. Um, with the Cricut software, there's not a lot of inspirational images in there that are actually free. You have to pay if you want the good ones or make them yourself. So uh, yeah, that was one of the, the cheaper ones. Another one I did was a spider web and I didn't, oh jeez, <laughs> I shouldn't have bought the machine. I know I shouldn't have bought it because nothing is working properly. Well, not for me anyway, but I made this spider web stencil and um, it didn't cut it properly because I think I chose the wrong material. But because I would have taken it right out of the machine, I couldn't put it back in to do it a, do a second pass on it. So, um, yeah, so that come out all wrinkly and bent and won't stick to anything. You know, like I'm using, wanted to use it on my jelly plate. So it won't actually stick down because it's not flat, if you know what I mean. I like the look of that. Um, is that going to be enough white around Mr. Elephant? I think he needs just a bit more and as you can see I don't clean my stencils I like the grunge to build up on them so that you get that sort of thing so obviously there's been something red or maybe even brown that's made that go that color so he's sat there like that yeah, that's, he looks pretty good just need a little bit more where his trunk's gonna stick up Something like that. Yep, so he'll look alright there. Uh, our bones here. Um, don't know whether I should do anything with that at all. Where else can I put some white? Where else does it need it? Just right down to the corner. I was really happy with this particular print when I did it. Um, I don't know how I did it though. That's the problem. I was using uh, white, uh, not white, orange on my jelly plate. Now my jelly plate is stained used orange paint. I've cleaned it and cleaned it, but I don't think it's going to make any difference to the way it works, but I'd prefer if it wasn't orange. Anyway, it's all learning. Maybe put it a little bit down the corner here.
Hard to believe we're up to week 21 already. It's amazing. There's somebody's hair in there. I suppose it's mine. Don't know who else's it would be. I feel the need for splatter. I like this because it looked a bit like, you know, an old wall or something. Okay, so if I was to splatter some colour on that, what colour would I splatter? But when I go for something different and put some blue on it, because I never use blue, I don't very often use blue, put it that way. Put the lid on oh, there, it is. Just gonna dampen that brush before I start. I actually like the blue against um, the orangey colour of the background. Let's go along the edge of the page. Oh, that's not the edge of the page. Hmm, I just put blue on something else. I knew I should have got a piece of paper to guard my other pages, but you know, shoulda, coulda, woulda. Alright, so taking that down, letting it run in a little bit on the sides. On the edge of that torn paper. When I was tearing that rice paper, it only tears really easily in one direction. Um, it's got, like you can sort of see lines in it when you hold it up to the light. And as long as you're tearing in the direction of those lines, it tears really easy. But when I was trying to do down the sides, it was, you know, falling, well not falling apart, but it was getting chompy looking. I didn't want it to be too chompy. I was starting to get a little bit out of control. Anyway, sorted it out. Okay, so that's that. Let's just take that in a little bit. Okay. Alright, so I'm just going to stick things down. Worry about it afterwards. So here's my paste. I'll put this label in first, so Dead Man's Fingers. What a terrible name for... I think it's a beer. I'm not sure. It was in the Christmas edition of the free magazine that comes out from the supermarket. Yeah, full of advertisements of course, as you'd expect. So Dead Man's Fingers I think goes well with my skeleton. I'm going to put this down first so that I can um, draw the lines on it and I know that you know the bars, the bars of the the cell, so to speak. Okay, so the bars are going to be on the outside, so the label can go on the outside. Um, I wanted to try and connect the two with a little bit of collage. Um, paper or something here. So let me just see if I can work that out. Maybe down here. Needs a bit of something else. I'm going to a piece of this. A piece of this and a piece of that. Doesn't really make much sense to have that there though, does it? I'm stuck. I really don't know what to do. Where's that white? It's got lines on it because I pulled it off card like it's dismantled cardboard. I want those lines to show up.
There we go. Less paint. That's what it needs. Wonder if just a little bit of music paper or something would look nice. What's on the floor? Oh. Okay. Wouldn't you know it? There was a little bit of music paper on the floor. There's a bit of that um, rice paper. I don't know if it shows, but one side is smooth. The other side has got like a I don't know what you'd call it. It's a texture, a texture of some sort. Just gonna see. I can't rip it down this way. This is what I was talking about. It does this chompy thing, but when you tear it that way, it rips straight down really easily. <sighs> what I'll have to do. Ink. I don't know why I'm putting this on there. Probably because it just doesn't seem like a, I don't know, it just doesn't seem right for this collage. Oh, that's a piece of Happy Scraps from when I did my um, altered playing card. So it's been gessoed on that side, so I'm going to use that side. It's also got some gold paint around it, so let's just pop that there might leave that one out and put that bit up there just just because just like that that'll do i shouldn't be using my finger in that glue or the paint i'm just tack them down so i know where they how they were arranged like that sort of ink around the outside of that go that way. I think it went that way. I had the stripes going down so it looked a bit like bars. Okay so I'll glue that on. I've got my felt pens over here so I can do draw the bars on. Yeah, I'll use this stuff. I think it looks better that way. It was up the other way. As in up the other way, upside down. Okay, so the elephant can go there. See, the idea is the elephant has come to the zoo to see the human specimen. Because the animals have taken over the world again. You're a bit crooked. There we go. It's better. That's still not stuck down. What's wrong with this glue? Oh my goodness. I don't think I'll be buying this this glue again. It just I don't know. It doesn't seem to like gluing you know like paint painted surfaces and things so it's probably not meant to but I thought I'd give it a try okay so that's gone that's gone do we need this butterfly don't really think so don't like it that much anyway it was the only butterfly sticker I could find Okay, I need to put the lid on my glue and then I need to draw the bars on his jails, um, his zoo cell, is it a cell? I don't know, cage, whatever. So I need a ruler, got 
my little ruler and I want and not that it's a black marker paint marker so let's something like that It's going to rain, it's getting dark. Feet are sticking out. I didn't make the cage long enough. Just put an extension on the door. So his exhibit number is going to go there. This is a sticker, I believe. I hope it's a sticker. Come on. There we go. Are you going to stick or what? Let's put a bit of glue on there just to make sure. Exhibit one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, and I need some handwriting. So I thought I'd make a sign to go on his cage. Is that big enough? Maybe this, because it's got those lines. Do not feed the humans I'm going to go over that again see if I can get it to look a little darker it's getting dark I can hardly see I won't. Oh, it's not too bad on the screen So obviously everyone's following the rules. <laughs> this guy doesn't look like he's had a feed for a while. Okay, do not feed the humans. Check I've got everything on here. 
So I've got a zoo animal, I've got part of a food or drink label, I've got my handwriting, such as it is, got a sticker, got something found in a doctor's office, which is my skeleton. I haven't used the bonus, which is something in threes. And this isn't sticking down, because that glue is useless. Sort of feel like it needs just a little bit of zhuzhing up here and there. Let's just do a scribbly border around the edge of it. Anything else I can put on there? Should probably get my pencil and just do a little bit of shadowing. Don't tell me the pencil's not going to work either. It'll be right. Okay, so just a little thought bubble here. The elephant is thinking, I remember you. Because elephants never forget, apparently. And he remembers this man. And that man used to wear that business suit. Okay, that sounds good. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. It is today, I'm doing it on the 19th of May. So it's Thursday. This will be out in a couple of days time, by the, by the time you see it, it'll be, I don't know, 21st or something. But I'm going to put today's date on it. So, um, the 19th, 10 days to my mum's birthday. The 5th, 22. Okay. Check out what Julie does when she puts her video up. I'm sure it's going to be something sensational, usually is. I'll, uh, as I said, I'll leave a link for Marguerite Miller's channel and if you want to buy the prompt so you can take part in the challenge, you can do that from her uh, shop. And until then, I shall say cheerio. So cheers from Australia. Hooroo.